Welcome to Real Issue Podcast. I am your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. If you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for all the support. So Brian Windhorst, he said that he thinks that the Miami Heat need to make a trade because they have one of the worst benches in the league. He also said in the report that the Miami Heat have one of the worst benches in the league, especially in scoring. They're right up against the luxury tax and might want to save their trade chips for a bigger prize down the line. The Heat can hope for better health. They're certainly due for it, but could really use another rotation player who can put the ball in the basket. He's absolutely right because this Miami Heat offense gets very stagnant. You know, we don't really uh, have bucket getters that can just score at will. You know, of course, Jimmy Butler will do his thing. You know, Bam Adebayo will, will do his thing. Uh, Tyler Hero, he can get hot at times. But throughout many points of the game, especially around that third or fourth quarter, the Miami Heat offense gets very stagnant and we can't make a bucket. Now, I will say he is right because we have to make trades. I think that this roster isn't as good as they thought it was going to be. I think last year was a huge anomaly. You know, last year we had guys that stepped up because Kyle was out, Bam was out, Tyler was out, Jimmy was out. So guys like Gabe Vincent, Max Struess, Kayla Martin, Omer Yurtsevin, they all got time. They all got, you know, minutes that they would have never seen if we were healthy. I think that they played way above their ceiling. However, these are all, you know, lower level talent guys. These are G League guys. These are guys that were undrafted. So they're going to hit their ceiling. And I think they hit their ceiling this year. You know, the guys that we have on our bench they were not meant to play 30 and 40 minutes a game these are role players that we have playing these absurd amount of minutes you know this team they lack talent size rim protection athleticism you know so we definitely have to make upgrades on our team and i'm not saying that we can't have undrafted guys on our team but to have almost eight undrafted guys on an nba roster when everyone in the nba maybe has two at the most that's the problem that i have so i just think that you know, Brian Winterhorse, he's absolutely right. We have to shake up this roster. The, but the main problem is, are they going to go all in? Are they going to use all their assets? Or are they going to wait for Kyle Lowry's uh, contract to expire next season? So those are some of the questions that I have for the Miami Heat. Are we going to go all in now? Or are we going to hold off and go all in next year? So they might make a minor move to improve the roster. You know, they might get a four. But we definitely need a four. We definitely need a guy that can score a good wing defender. Our perimeter defense needs a uh, great improvement. I think that Victor Oladipo has done a great job with that, but we still need more. You know, Omar Yurtsevin is coming back, but I don't know if they're going to trade him or not. We definitely need the size, though. You know, the rebounding issues are a problem, and that's one of the most fundamental things about the NBA. But let me know what you guys think about what Brian Windhorst said. Who do you guys want to trade for? Let me know in the comments. What are some of the trade packages that you guys would want? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 2,000 subscribers.